This is Uli DL2HBX having a little problem with the newly acquired Baofeng Mark II. Turn the radio on and um, you can see that there is a little problem with the display. It's the well-known DDD25 problem. <coughs> so um, I um, started the computer and uh, right now as you can see the cable is connected and here is the situation for the driver. Right now it is on COM1 per default. Um, and now let me see, let me show you what happens. Um, I hook up the cable to the phone jack and I make sure it's properly seated because I know in the past there were some problems with this jack. I've done this a dozen times now uh, with no difference in the results and I'm sure it will not be any different now. I'm starting the software, the UV3R software, and I'll show you that this is 109. Say okay. So the radio is connected to the computer. The driver said, oh, the COM port here is COM1. So everything matches, everything should work. And I say, uh, read from the radio. Reading data from radio, search COM port, cannot connect the radio. And this happens with any combination of COM port settings, frequency range settings, or no matter how much I push the connector into the jack. Now let me show you the difference to my old radio. This is my old Mark 1 that I was planning on selling after upgrading to the Mark 2. So this one works. Um, and I now connect the Mark 1 to the very same configuration. So now this one is connected <coughs> to the computer, to here. And um, now I say read from the radio. Reading data from radio. And as you can see, it works fine. It populates my list. Everything's good. So I remove the jack from the UV3R Mark 1, put it back to the Mark 2, and um, Let's try the writing to the radio now, because I have a good list of, of memories that I actually would like to write. But uh, unfortunately it will show you the same thing that we just saw. Writing data to radio, search COM port, cannot connect the radio. Trying the uh, reading from radio. And uh, same thing. And actually what I believe has happened is that the jack itself, the hardware behind the jack doesn't work properly because even if I remove the cable from the radio and I say read from the radio, the message is, as you can see, it's searching for a COM port and it cannot connect to the radio. So basically this unit, the new one, behaves as if wasn't connected to anything. That's why I'm sure something is broken in the electronics um, that makes that establishes the communication. This is what I wanted to show you. So uh, I'm going to send the radio back in about one hour because um, it doesn't work properly and um, I hope that you can help me with a repair or a repla replacement unit. Other than that the unit is fine. The unit is what I would like it to be. This is just the only problem and as you can see, I cannot get it back to life without the program. Thank you very much, and have a good day.